All right, well, the library partnership program that the HWA has set up is designed for us to really promote literacy and promote ourselves also to librarians so that we can interchange information and share resources. Well, the first thing we did was get involved with several library-oriented organizations such as the American Library Association and uh, several library magazines publications uh, so that they could get to know us and then we could gauge their interest in the horror genre and just writers in general. Since then, what we've done is start to arrange speaking engagements with our writers in the libraries and we've also established a database of librarians so that they can come to us for information and we can use them as resources for our writers who are looking to do presentations, speaking engagements, and uh, other things. And we've also put together a whole series of information packets and pamphlets that describe what the Horror Writers Association does and what we offer to libraries, as well as setting up a page on our website where librarians can go and find information, resources, suggested reading lists, and anything else they might need to increase the size of the library collection of horror writers and, and books. Infancy, we've only been doing it for a little bit more than a year now. Our next goal is to keep building our database of writers and librarians so that they can share uh, those databases and set up individual speaking engagements and presentations without having to go directly to the library committee that we've put into place. And we also want to start working on multimedia presentations so that our writers can Skype with the libraries when they aren't geographically located in an area where they can actually do a visit. And also put together promotional videos and informational videos so that a library might say, okay, we want a video about uh, what it's like to write for the young adult audience. And then they can just get that directly from our website and not even need a writer to go out there. Well, about 18 months ago, we decided that one of the things the HWA should do is promote ourselves more in the young adult horror genre. Um, studies have shown that the young adult readership is increasing more than any other area, and we want to be a part of that. And it's tied into our liter literacy program so that by promoting reading among the young readers, we're creating readers for the future. And horror is the number one area that the kids are reading, so why not promote ourselves to them? Well, the first thing we did was tie it in with our library program so that we work with the young adult librarians at the different libraries that we've been associated with. Uh, we then set up a page on our website devoted strictly to young adult horror. And again, readers and librarians can go to that page, find out recommended reading lists, and also see interviews with well-known young adult horror writers. And then we've also set up a partnership with well-known uh, comic strip artist, Ray Billingsley, who does the Curtis comic. And he actually did a series of strips that were seen in newspapers throughout the nation promoting horror and the Horror Writers Association and he created a poster for us to use at our um, special events. Again, it's a program that's still building and growing. We've got a blog set up now on the Young Adult page so that people can post articles and see interviews and find out new sources of information, what's hot in the subgenre, what's not. And we're working with our young adult writers and libraries and schools to create a, a series of presentations and, and have writers go out to these different places and just talk to the kids. It's not necessarily doing a reading so much as it is just talking to them and getting them interested in reading and letting them know that there's a lot of books and writers and short story collections and whatever else they're into, graphic novels, that are out there that they might not be aware of.